participation code 6 e echo n november d delta 006 this is the last section of the worksheet the moment we've all been waiting for there's nothing for you as a preparer to do here it's all completed by roxy there are a few things to take note of and the first is the black bar going across the screen it marks a change in the definition of the columns up till now the left column has been the father's column and the next column to the right has been the mother's column at this point however the father's column has become the when health insurance is provided column and the one to the right is when health insurance is not provided so the final support figure on line 28 is four thousand six hundred and ninety four dollars and three cents when health insurance is provided and four thousand six hundred and thirty dollars and thirteen cents when health insurance is not provided because there's no mother or father columns anymore there are a pair of check boxes to tell us who the obligor is I remember when I saw the guidelines for the first time and worked through the calculation and noted that the without health insurance amount was lower than the with health insurance amount and I thought how can that be if there's no health insurance shouldn't the obligor's obligation be higher and the answer seems obvious now but it wasn't then the without health insurance amount is higher because it's not just the amount on line 28 but added to that amount is the amount on line 30 so in this case that amount would be five thousand seven hundred and fifty four dollars and thirteen cents which is line 28 column 2 plus line 30 and the sum of those amounts is five thousand seven hundred and fifty four dollars and thirteen cents which is greater than the amount on line 28 column 1 which is four thousand six hundred and ninety four dollars and three cents that makes for a, almost a one thousand dollar difference another point worth mentioning in this section is that the processing charge or monthly fee can be set in the default file we set it to two percent and I'm not aware of a county that doesn't use the percentage method and two percent which I believe is the maximum allowed by law but if you are in a different county you could set that that would be an appropriate thing to set in the default file line 30 is the final cash medical support figure and it's simply the amount from line 20B which is then divided by 12 to come up with a monthly amount on line 31 which is in turn broken down into a monthly amount the processing charge and then the total of the two and in the end the amount our example obligor must pay if health insurance is provided is three hundred ninety eight dollars and ninety nine cents per month including interest and if no health insurance is provided the combined monthly amount is four hundred and eighty nine dollars and ten cents which is three hundred ninety three dollars and fifty six cents from line twenty nine plus ninety five fifty four from line thirty one now that just about concludes the revised ohio child support guidelines video but before i go i'd like to spend a moment or two going over one or two additional points first is the signature lines in roxy the signature lines are mostly completed by you with the exception of the name